actually gonna start covering the EU again. But I gotta keep that as a surprise for everybody. Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. coming at you on the same video. Sales, saving money. That's what it's all about. Most awkward opening ever. But you know what's coming. We're going to cover all of the digital sales in the PlayStation Vita store in North America, the UK, Australia, Japan, and back by popular demand, Europe. We're doing everything today. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get on with it. Starting off with, you know what, North America. Now Australia. All right, guys, I'm gonna pick something. Are you ready? Here it goes. Oh wait, it's already on the screen. My anticlimactic choice for these regions is Bouncy Bullets. The latest and sadly probably last FPS game we'll ever get officially on the PlayStation Vita. <clears throat> As I said, officially. That's gotta be a future segue to something. But this title, I gotta admit, for being such a late release into the PlayStation Vita's library and being an indie title, it's surprisingly pretty robust. The levels are quite short, but this gameplay is solid and the controls are excellent. And while there sadly is no multiplayer to this game, which yeah, it would have been great to have, considering that much like with other PlayStation Vita releases these days, it's very uh cost efficient, meaning it won't cost you a lot of money. Hence the word cost in what I just said. Combine that all together and you get one solid package. So you know, download it today. Europe, you're next. Uh, feels great to say that again. UK, come on day. Uh, what was I gonna pick from this region again? Oh yeah, Slain back from heck. Hey, this is a family friendly show. Picture if you will everyone, what would happen if you mix the best elements of Castlevania, Rastan, for those who remember that game, and not so mind bending puzzles. And you got Slain, back from heck. You know, it's, it's heck horrific. Okay, I like to joke around, but seriously, this is a really fantastic game and quite solid I might add too. Though I do have to warn you, it has a high difficulty level. So if you're anything like me, prepare to die a lot. Actually, even if you aren't like me, prepare to die a lot. Japan, come on down. Sweet, time to reach out and touch somebody. Oh, never mind. The pick for this final region is Touch My Katamari. But do not worry, there shall be no vulgarity in this game, except of course for the title. All right, uh, well, what can I really say about Touch My Katamari that hasn't already been said? It's Katamari Damashi. For those who haven't heard of this title, well, you essentially play this alien prince dude who has to roll up a ball of, well, junk, starting off very small from minuscule things like pencils and thimbles, but then ending with billboards and skyscrapers and well, you can pretty much use your imagination after that. For such an odd premise, these games have always been highly addictive and the Vita version is no exception. I think the one new feature at the time that this game was showing off was the fact that you could use the touch screen to make your ball skinny, kind of squish it down. And if that's your jam, yeah, pick it up. I felt very awkward just describing this game. And that'll just about do it for all of the PlayStation Vita store sales in, uh, well, you know, the five territories or so that I mentioned. Sorry, I'm running out of breath. But let me know which games you're gonna be picking up this week down in the comments below and as always fellow vita fans thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video it really means a lot to me love you all and i'll see you next time the following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people including reiko star mango man Mario Cruz, Richard Cruz, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, Rodrigo Vera, Aaron Swanson, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, Joshua Williams, Ruben Gutierrez, BMF, Skullshire Tugel TCG, Adam Theory, Pierce Sterner, Erock, 
JR, Kyle Brook, Saul Ramirez, and Phantom XRS. If you yourself would be interested in supporting the channel, check the links down in the description below. I have various ways for you to do so down there. Uh, uh, uh. Trying to say those names as fast as I can now so the segment doesn't become so long. Man, as if I wasn't already out of breath.